Hi you guys, um, today I'm coming to you with another so, haul video. If you want to watch, stay tuned. My first thing I'm going to show you is the Outer Box. It just came yesterday and I have, it came in this package. It's their Defender Rugged Protection Series. And I think this is the newest series out of all of the phone cases that they provide for smartphones and I and I know people are gonna ask me you know did you pay 30 40 50 60 dollars for it and no I didn't I actually got it off on amazon.com and I bought it for seventeen dollars and eighty seven cents that is such a great deal with free shipping so this is what the case looks like it's pink and then it's gray around it. This is what the back looks like. And of course, it came with a, a, um, a, a clip, a pants clip for your phone. So this is the back. And this is the front. And you just simply put it on like this. Cool, huh? So, that's my phone case, and I wanted to show you guys that first because, one, that's the most recent thing that I received because I just got it last night. I can't, it came in the mail, and um, not only that, but the stuff that I'm showing you will be either beneficial to your hair, to um, and the places that I've either received these things from. It's not real expensive, but at the same time, you're gonna you're getting more for your buck, and that's what my hauls are all about. The next thing I want to show you guys, my mom actually gave me this. Are these called Miracle Socks? Now, of course, these socks, um, I have been wanting to get these off off t off the TV off uh off the commercial. And when I wanted to get it, at the time I was I purchased it and things went wrong and they were charging me so many different things, so I just canceled the order. Then my mom came across them, crossed them again, and she bought them for me. And they actually I'm wearing them now, that's why you can't I can't actually show you what they look like. But as far as the case is concerned, it says it's black. It really is black. And they, the way how the Miracle Sock sizing, sizing works is like women's shoes. See what it says on the bottom. Women's shoes, um, small and medium, is from 6 to 9 and a half. Large to extra large is 9 to 13.5. Men's is 5 to 9.5. And men's from 10 to 12.5. They need a large or extra large. So, um, of course, I wear a size 11. So uh, I have the side, the women's shoe, ten to three, thirteen point five. So they run. It's like a one size, kind of sort of fits all, but it just depends on what size you're getting, it ranges from whatever those sizes are. So um, I will say this: I wore them when I got them last night as well. This is another recent um, purchase. But when I got them last night as well, I put them on, and they felt really tight, honestly, because the I don't the pressure with the sock onto my on uh, my foot, my feet. I have a um, reason why I, I have a um, my feet are, uh, my my right foot is swollen from my heart surgery, so that's another reason why I wanted to purchase these, not just because it's cold outside or whatever. I just I really want to purchase these for a purpose, and so if anybody out there, you don't have um, not radiation, but uh, circulation in your legs, or your or your legs are um, the blood is not flowing right through your legs, or if your feet are really swollen, and you just don't know why, and you're going through everything that you can, but you just still don't know, I will suggest you purchase these, and. Um, these socks are very comfortable, I will tell you that. And they are anti-fatigue compression socks. So that's why they felt so tight. And after I took a shower this morning, because I was leaving to go somewhere, um, I put them right back on. And 
my I don't have pictures of my foot how it is before last night and today but I'm gonna actually give you guys an update on these socks and automatically I will say that my, my right foot because that's the one that's swollen the most my right foot is going to oh my right foot already went down the swelling of the foot and my ankle so we're gonna actually go pick up some more and I really think you can get these at either Family Dollar, Dollar Tree, or Dollar General. But I will say Family Dollar because Family Dollar, and also depending on which one you go, that's the type of place where they sell the stuff that's off TV, that you can find certain stuff. So I think that's probably where she got it from, but I'm going to ask her just in case. So if she, if she says, well, that's not the store, the other store was such and such. I'll just put it down below if I can find it. But and um, I'm also gonna look online to see if you can purchase these offline. And if I find the website or a URL, then I'll put that down below as well. The oh, and the last thing about the Otterbox case, I'm gonna um, put the link down below of where I got my case from. And of course, if they sold out or if they're not. Uh, if they don't have the same one that you want to purchase that's like mine, then I'm sorry. Um, I dig off of Amazon. I didn't check eBay because I know eBay is the type of store where the, they're trying to either charge you least or charge you the most. And, I, and, and since I don't have an eBay account and I was told that you have to pay to have an eBay account, um, I may be wrong, but that's what I was just told. That I know Amazon is free. Amazon is straight legit because I get a lot of stuff off of Amazon. The next thing I want to show you guys is the, it's called the Red, it's the, the company's called Red by Kiss, and it's the Ceramic terma, uh, Termalin Curling Wine, I think I said the word wrong, it's a one inch curling wine, and this is the packaging, just to show you that. I got it from my local beauty supply store, and it goes up, it's all the way up to 410 degrees Fahrenheit, and I really think this is their newest, um, this newest item, product that they have out, and I was going to go and get a regular curling, uh, curling iron from Red by Kiss, but, um, I decided to just get a curling wine, not only because that's the newest thing around, but because it was actually kind of it was cheaper so depending on where your your local beauty supply store or wherever you want to plan on going to get your curling wines if you want that one um if you're in the i won't say the illinois area because everybody's still different but yeah i will i wouldn't have a link but if i could find a link to where you can get that same curling iron then i'll put it down below as well but inside the package, I received a glove to put on my hand, so that way, um, when I'm curling, when I'm curling my hair, I can, you know, protect my hands because it does get extremely hot since it is 410 degrees. Um, I also received like a little mat to set my curling iron on. This is what the mat looks like. So, that's what the mat looks like, and the product is this. It's just a regular curling wine, and see, it has a switch right there, so that way you can just go ahead, turn it on, and I will say it gets hot, it gets hot extremely fast, so... I like the, and I actually, I really like Red by Kiss. I love their products because they're flat irons. My grandmother has a couple of stuff from them as far as like the flat iron and the curling iron. Both of those work really well, really well. So I, and actually I was, I saw one YouTuber, I forgot her name. But uh, she has the blow dryer, one of their blow dryers, and I think it's called the 1500. I don't know if that's what the, the watts, but I think that's what it was called. And it was gray and black, 
and I really and it got her hair really dry and really straight really quick before she even put a curling out or flat on a curling one on her hair so I'm thinking of probably about investing in that one so uh, but just you just plug it up and this is how long the cord is so it extends really long um, really long so you don't have to worry about you know having an extension cord to attach it because some curling lines are their cord is very short um, and the last three things, I actually received this as a gift, which is the purse I was telling you guys about, um, is this purse right here. It's by Steve Madden, and um, as funny as it sounds, where I got, I got, I got this, um, the purse as a gift. But if I could find the link or ask the person, or ask my, actually the person was my grandmother, um, ask her, uh, where she got, well, I know where she got it from, but, like, if there's a link where I can get it offline, or if I try to find where the person, I'll put on the link below if I can't, sorry. Um, my last two things that I received so far is... These two shoes are my, and I've had these for a, for a while now, so these are pretty old to some, but new to you guys. My doc, Dr. Martins, and, um, or we call them Doc Martins. They're US 11, they're hot pink, and this is what they look like. I'm going to show you one of the shoes because it's the same shoe. But this is what they look like. And on the back, this is what it says on the back. See? And you see, I haven't worn them a lot, but I have worn them. Um, this is the other side. This is the front. I've already made a dent in them because I've been wearing them. Especially when they first started to get cold out here. But, um, about the Doc Martens, I, I, when it comes to shoes, I do have an expensive taste as far as what shoes I like. But at the same time, I don't get shoes that everybody is wearing. So, I try to find uh, shoes that I like at a decent price, and I try to compare, and I do my research as much as possible before I purchase anything. Same thing goes for the Krillinite, the Krillin wand, um, my auto box case. You know, the auto box costs like uh, $60 if you're trying to custom make yours on their website. So, and on average, you're going to pay, like on uh, Amazon, I think the highest I see was like $50 for a case. But I got it for $17.87, $17 plus free shipping. And you know, like, shipping is cost like $5.99, $6.99, depending on what you're trying to get. So I try to do my best to try to do as much research as I can and also try to tell you guys where to go to save money and to get more for your buck. So going back to the Doc Martens, um, I really like those shoes, those shoes. A lot, I see a lot of people wear the black ones, which, like, like I said, I don't like to wear shoes that everybody wears, but even if I just get a different color, and since that's my favorite color, I'm, I'm going to get them. So, I end up, um, purchasing them off, off Amazon.com. I think it was Amazon or eBay. I think it was eBay this time, but I didn't purchase them, so, I, like I said, I don't have an eBay account, but, um... But yeah, I so I went and I my mom, my mom got me the the shoes and I really when you first get them, I will say this. To some extent they do run a little big because I'm a size 11. And even though I got a size 11, that was actually the perfect size for me because if I would have got a bigger size, they would look like a big old fat boot. So, um I wouldn't suggest to get a size smaller or a size bigger. I would say get your size 
But and, and if they're too small for you or they're too big, because I have wide feet, so the shoes actually run better for me. And with my compression socks, this is gonna work perfectly with inside them because there's like a cut. I don't people who know who wear the dog marks, they understand what I'm talking about. When you first put your foot in there, it feels like there's a certain amount of space for the foot to go in. So it's not like the whole shoe is all the space you have. It's like specifically one, one a certain amount of space. So when you put your, your foot in there, it feels, for me, because I had put my foot in there when it was swollen, it felt like I was, uh, my circulation was cut, it was, was being cut off as far as my feet is concerned. But it didn't, it didn't do that. I just had to wear really thin socks. Now, I will say this, since I, I was wearing them in the cold, and they actually were, uh, they were heat protective. Like, they were, um, no, no, they were cold protective. Like, they were taking, like, the shoe wouldn't, uh, you wouldn't, air wouldn't get in the shoe. That's what I'm trying to say. Air wouldn't get in the shoe. And it was windy, and then sometimes it was cold when I was wearing them. And I rocked them, and I, I still rock them, you know, when I want to, and, um, and you know it's like 10 or 20 degrees out here. I still rock them because I because you know you have other layers of clothing, not just your shoes. So and they actually and people compliment them and they always staring at my shoes. They're always like, oh my god, those are so pretty. You know, I get tons of compliments on my shoes. Uh and just that. So I really suggest if you want Doc Martens, I will try to see if I could put get the link down below either if it's from ebay or from amazon and i know for a fact that i paid oh that my mom paid a hundred a hundred and eight i would say so and that's the cheapest a lot of people know that the when you go on the doc martin's website to compare prices because i'll tell you guys i do as much research as i can um i know the most you're probably gonna get is 200 I think the highest because these are these are the the airwear. So those shoes, those are the ones with the bright different colors, the yellow, the green, the orange. That's the series for that for those Dark Martins. And the most that I've seen was like two hundred for those same shoes, and I got it from one hundred eight, which is really a big step from any other any other um store or retail store or online website whatever and my last shoe that I want to tell you guys and this is my my very first pair of shoes from this uh, online website and of course I got them offline again uh, ah! <laughs> got them from just fat uh, and honestly, you guys, I don't like too many, I'm not a real, like, big shoe fanatic, like a lot of, like a lot of girls out here, a lot of females, if anything, I, I'm quick to rock some new hair or a new purse, but these shoes were like the only shoe, the only pair of winter boots that I really, 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 really like, so... Um, yeah. So, these are the Nala's. And I know you girls have seen these for some time now. And if you follow me on Instagram at vbhair underscore il, you will understand that these these shoes are what's, 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 what's it. You know. So, these are the shoes. These are the shoes, and this is the bottom. Of course, they have a regular. See what they look like? They have a regular, regular. Um, and this is the back. This is the back. See, and then this is. So one side of the shoe, and this is the other side of the shoe. So what the zippers are. So, and yes, on top that is fur. 
So, um, I haven't worn those shoes yet. I really plan on wearing them, saving them to wear for my birthday because I really like those shoes. And I haven't been to too many different places where I could wear those kind of shoes at. So, if that makes sense. Uh, but yeah. So, um, I guess that's everything for right now. But I will talk to you guys later, and I will. I hope this helps, and if I can find the links, I will do so and put them down below. See you guys in the next video. Bye.